Hey guys, Racing Pro here. I just wanted to let you know what my plans were for this week since Friday is the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The weekday streams on Twitch should be the same as usual, but there won't be any FNR videos this week on YouTube since well, there was no FNR on the 4th, so can't really make videos out of something that didn't happen, right? Well, I'm not going to at least. Anyway, as for Friday, well, Expect EJLMS Round 10 at Road Atlanta, starting sometime around 9pm Eastern on Twitch. As for Pokémon, if you've been around the stream lately, you'll know that I set up an incentive, with the main goal being for me to stream my first playthrough of Violet. That's the version I ended up choosing. As of the release of this video, we're about 25% of the way to the goal of $200, with the cutoff for said goal being around 3am Eastern, 12 Pacific, on Friday. I'll explain more about the incentive and the reasoning behind it towards the end of the video, and as long as I remember, the video should have timestamps for the main talking points, so you can just use them to navigate around if you really want to. So as of now, I'm not planning on streaming the game until after I've completed the main story, whatever that consists of, and whatever post-game story there may or may not be as well. Note, I've been avoiding the leaks and such, so I only know what's been officially announced, and I'm going to keep it that way until release. Well, I'm going to keep it that way until after I've beat the game and done everything. Basically, I won't stream Violet until I want to. If we hit the goal, though, expect a stream starting sometime between 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern, or later, if my copy doesn't get delivered early enough. I have no set schedule beyond that for the weekend, but expect a lot of streaming, with both breaks for FNR and GTA Hunt the Streamer on their respective nights, as well as short breaks in the evening for food. Naturally, the VODs from those streams will make their way to YouTube at some point, though there's a small chance I may push them to YouTube a little bit sooner than normal. I don't know, we'll see. If you'd like to help out with the incentive, all Twitch bits and subs, as well as tips, count towards the total, with subs valued at 50% of their cost here in the US. All the relevant links can be found both on my Twitch channel page, as well as in the description of this video. Now is probably a good time to mention as well that hitting $100, or 50% of the main goal, unlocks a playthrough of Pokemon Y at some point in the future. I don't know for sure when it will start, but I hope to at least be near the end of the game before March, so... It won't be too far into the future. As for why I've put these two playthroughs, primarily Violet, effectively behind a paywall, it boils down to two main reasons. One, I like to play through the new Pokemon games on my own, allowing me to experience everything not officially revealed for myself. Streaming the first playthrough, while not guaranteed, does mean that there's an increased chance of stuff being spoiled for me. Plus, not streaming means I can stop playing at a moment's notice, if needed, without needing to worry about pausing or ending the stream. The second main reason is simple. My bills don't pay themselves. I hate having to use that as a reason, but it's true. And for the amount of time and effort I put into all of this, especially potentially this weekend, realistically, I can't do it for free. So the end result is an incentive to help recoup the cost of buying the game and also help cover some other bills and stuff, with two Pokemon game playthroughs, including the newest installment of the series, in return. I'm considering maybe adding another incentive below the main goal, but I make no promises. Though, if you got a good idea for one, perhaps leave it in the comments or in the suggestions channel in my Discord server. No Nuzlocks, though. I've done enough of those at this point. So that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, one last thing I could mention is that the Satisfactory Update 5 playthrough will be coming to an end sometime soon. Certainly by the end of the year. I'm just starting to get to the point of burnout on the save, especially with the end project parts requiring so many resources to go towards them, and with Update 5 being out of date at this point and not wanting to push that world into update 6 because of all the modded stuff I use, it's a good time to bring it to an end, I think. I don't know exactly what I'll play in its place, but I do have a couple of ideas at least. I guess if you have any suggestions for that, you can leave them in the comments or on Discord as well. So with all that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching to the end, and hopefully I'll see at least some of you on Friday afternoon for Pokemon Violet.
or if not, FNR or GTA. Either way. Later, nerds.